is the first day of the Booktube a thon. Mm. And we are off to the Bay of Islands. We're in Auckland and we're just on the coach now. We're going to head off to go and do a cruise today, which is really fun. Very exciting. So I might get some rating done, might not, we'll see. It's now almost 11.30 at night. Paris and I just got back to the hotel after our Bay of the Islands tour, which was really fun. There were so many beautiful views and it was just so, so stunning. And I did manage to actually get a fair bit of reading done today, which I'm really happy about. So the trip from Auckland to the Bay of Islands was about three hours and then the actual cruise itself was three hours. And in between, like looking at things and um, listening to the coach driver commentate and tell us a bit about New Zealand and things like that, I got to reading. So at the moment I am 77% through It Came From The Deep by Maria Lewis, which is a lot more than I expected to read today. So I'm really happy with that. I'm just kind of settling in for the night, packing up all of our stuff for tomorrow because we're leaving Auckland tomorrow and joining the Top Deck tour. After that I'm just gonna chill in bed and read for the rest of the evening. I'm gonna try and finish reading It Came From The Deep tonight. I have a bit of faith that I can do it. So we're currently on a walk. We just went into the Waitomo Caves and saw the glowworms, which is was amazing. Cool. I've done a little bit of reading today. So last night I finished It Came From The Deep. And then today I've read a little bit of A Gathering Of Shadows. And now we're on a walk to some viewing platform for the caves, the tunnels or something like that. I don't know. adventurous day today so this morning part of our top deck tour went whitewater rafting which was fun but also kind of slightly terrifying because I almost died <laughs> and then this afternoon we're at Hobbiton there's Paris hey Paris there's a hobbit hole it's so cool as for reading, last night I started reading Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik and oh, during the day yesterday I also started reading A Gathering of Shadows. So I'm buddy reading that book with a couple of friends. So I've read the first part and it was so good. Oh, I also started listening to The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan yesterday. <laughs> We 
just went past Bag End. It was so cool. Lots of photo opportunities. It's just so beautiful here. I can't get over it. Look, another Hobbit hole. Made it to the Green Dragon. Time to get my drink on. We are now at the Green Dragon enjoying a really, really tasty cider. I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh, it's good. Today's been a pretty freaking fantastic day. Almost dying, but also yes. having fun at the same time. Exactly. And then exploring. Hobbiton, which is so cool. Not much reading done at all. <laughs> but tonight I am hosting some reading sprints on the booktubers on Twitter, which is exciting. So I'm going to schedule those and then um, sleep because my body's exhausted from the thrashing it got today. <laughs> we got boo boo. We got boo boo. We did get boo boo. It's expecting to come up like half like grays with like blood everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it probably helps that we were decked out in wetsuits and then the fleece jumpers yes. and the jackets on top. Like if we went in summer and I'd been like scraped on the bottom a little bit more, then probably yeah, get a few more that would have been pretty dangerous. Never let go, Jack! Don't worry guys, we have photo evidence of the rapid disaster. <laughs> that one photo as well. <laughs> you can kind of see me because like the raft went down and then up and then over and you can just see me flailing over the other, like the opposite side of the raft and then you can just see my helmet in the middle of the rapids in like two or three other photos yes. when everyone else has kind of left it. At the time it was awful and we all thought we were dying but well, my lungs were starting to hurt because I hadn't breathed in so long. I was like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. This is the end. That's what and I was like. <laughs> eh. And then I was like pulled under again and it was more tumbly and I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. We're and, not being dramatic. And see, like, Kaz terrifying. and I have the wounds. You can't even oh, see me. shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh. I like to drink with Kaz because Kaz is our mate. And when we drink with Kaz, she gets it down in eight, seven, six. I've never five. heard that before. Okay. We'll redo it. We'll redo it. Okay. We like to drink with Kaz, who Kaz is our mate. And when we drink with Kaz, she gets it down in eight, seven, six, five, four. Woo! There's just one big mouthful. There wasn't exactly. Is that just a new Newcastle thing? I thought everyone knew that. And then we say it's his parish, she's true blue. She's yeah. a piss pop through and through. She's a bastard, so they say. Try to go to heaven, must you win the other way? She went down, 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 down. Yeah. Done. <laughs> so this morning we're going ogoing, and I'm so excited. So I was going down these hills in these balls, and uh, my friend and I are going to do this one. got a good whiff of the sofa. <laughs> so I was going to film an update last night, but as I was looking for my camera, I realized I didn't mm. have it. <laughs> I'd left my camera on the bus back from Hobbiton. Oof. Obviously, I'm using my camera now to film, so I did manage to retrieve it, <laughs> luckily. <Thank God. laughs> I'm so glad that I did notice last night rather than this morning. Like, oh, that would have been as we were leaving type thing. That would have been dreadful. This morning we went o going, and that was oh so much fun. So as you guys would have seen, we had like a GoPro in there with us. <laughs> it was so fun. We added some water, obviously, so slipping and sliding everywhere. It was a great yeah, time. Anyway, we're somewhere with mud baths that stink. 
sulfur. It's not too bad until you, you get a whiff of the steam right in your face. Oh. We're just going on a bit of a walk. We're only here for a little while, then we're continuing on today. We're going to Lake Tapo. Is that where we're going? Yeah. And then staying at Tongariro National Park. Which okay, is going to be really... Mount Doom. Mount Doom, yes, exactly. I was going to get some reading done last night, but I was busy doing the sprints for the Booktubeathon, and then I was panicking about my camera. So I was a little too stressed <laughs> to read. So far on the bus, I've read a little bit more of A Gathering of Shadows. Um, my first day was great. I read a book in a day, but uh, progress has slowed down a teensy tiny oh. literally just started listening to Binti and I'm only about a minute in and this is the book that I'm reading for the challenge to read while wearing a hat so oh god which way do I go at the moment half of our tour group is bungee jumping and doing the swing which is really cool to watch I'm not doing anything here when we get to Queenstown I'm gonna do the canyon swing there I'm not game to bungee jump not in this lifetime following one of the trails now trying to get some nice views see what's around everything's just so beautiful here <laughs> I just went around in a circle. Okay. It's late, it's raining, but I'm reading a little bit of gathering of shadows at the moment. We reached Tongariro and today, what else do we do today? What have I, what have I recorded? I don't know, my brain's a bit dead dead and Fuzzy. foggy from the drinks. I just saw a little bit piss. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it mildly. After dinner we had some drinks with a few of the people on the tour which was really fun. Made a little bit of progress on Binti today which is good. Don't think I read anything else today. It's just been oh, that and a gathering of shadows. <laughs> Looking good! So we are just waiting now up the mountain and we're gonna go skiing. Skiing? Sneeing? Did I say sneeing? sneeing. <laughs> We're going sneeing. We are going I'm skiing really and we've got a lesson uh, that starts in half an hour which is really fast. So that's exciting. Oh my god, it's snowing! This is the first time I've actually seen like proper snow that lasted more than about 10 seconds. It's so exciting! And I've been going skiing down this hill and it's been so fun! Oh, okay, cool. Oh my god, it's snowing! <laughs> first time experiencing snow. Like full snow like this. Oh, oh my god. god. It's Mount Doom! It's Saturday! Yesterday I did absolutely no reading because we went skiing, which was lots of fun. Yes. And then we had drinks after dinner. Oh mm -hmm. So I'm hungover. We just drove to Wellington and visited the Temple Park Museum and now we're going to get a coffee and then have a nap. But on the bus ride here, I was listening to some of The Last Olympian, which is nice, but then I fell asleep, so I need to go back and figure out where I <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> Currently at the library. Hello, everybody! And I have all these books everywhere. There's so many books everywhere. Yay! I'm a little too excited. Look at the cocktail menu. We have some book or movie cocktails, such as The Notebook, The Godfather, Silence of the Lamb, Princess Bride, Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm going to get the Fresh Prince, which will be fun.
I am just back at the hotel room now. I finished up with dinner and a couple of drinks with a couple of people I'm touring with as well as meeting up with my friend Izzy, which was really, really lovely. Rather than staying out tonight, I'm going to try and get some sleep because we have an early start tomorrow morning. The place that I just showed you clips from in the library was so cool and delicious cocktails. It was glorious. Before I went out to dinner, I read like two or three pages of Spinning Silver. Reading has been going a little bit slow these past couple of days, just because there's been so many other activities that I've been doing. So like absolutely no regrets on not putting more time into focusing on reading at the moment because I'm having the best time. But nevertheless, I'm still really impressed with my progress of reading a book on the first day of the book tubeathon. So that was great. But yeah, tomorrow's the last day of the book tubeathon. We'll see how I go. I think there's going to be a lot of traveling tomorrow because we're getting a ferry from the North Island to the South Island of New Zealand. So we'll be on that for a little while. And then I'm not sure how long we're driving and doing other things. But I might take it easy the next couple of days, so we'll keep you updated. Alright, so there's only a few hours left of the book Tubeathon and for the bus ride and the ferry ride today, I've been reading a little bit more of Spinning Silver, which is going kind of slowly. It's a slow paced read. Curious to see how this goes, but it is slower than I was expecting. Might get my beanie out again and listen to the last half of Binti because I think I'm around halfway through it. I've only finished one book <laughs> so far. Lots of progress, guys. Lots of progress. Anyway, yeah, I'll see how I do. So, oh my god, it looks like I've got horns. The booktubeathon has come to a close. I didn't do any more filming last night, but after I updated you, I finished listening to the audiobook of Binti, and then I proceeded to fall straight asleep. Deep, deep sleep. I was kind of hoping to read some more of Spinning Silver, but I just, I was completely out. And then um, the people I'm rooming with at the moment, they came back and woke me up and then proceeded to keep me awake until very very late unfortunately with all the giggling and snoring. The book tubeathon's finished. I can't believe it's over. It just whizzed by. Probably didn't help that I wasn't as focused on the book tubeathon and doing a lot of other activities as well but it was honestly such such a fun week and I hope you guys didn't mind seeing a lot of other stuff in this reading vlog besides the actual reading I tried to include as many clips of me actually reading as possible but a lot of it was kind of on the road which is a little tricky to film these horns are annoying me <laughs> progress so I started and finished reading it came from the deep by Maria Lewis I also started and finished listening to the audiobook for Binti I listened to about half of Percy Jackson, The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. I got through about 30% of Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, and I got through about 25% of A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. Many books on the go that I didn't manage to complete, but it was honestly such a great week. I had the best time. I've been having so much fun, and the moments that I have been reading have been great as well. This month, I'm also participating in the magical readathon and I'm taking my owls and that has kind of overlapped with the booktubeathon so it started on the 1st of August but I will be doing a completely separate vlog for that so if you're interested in seeing how the rest of my reading goes throughout the remainder of August and also potentially seeing some more of my New Zealand trip then you can look forward to that video. That is all that I have for now thank you guys so much for watching I honestly had a great week yay for the booktubeathon hopefully next year I'm actually in a position to participate more in terms of the reading and video challenges and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in a new video. But until then, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye!